The Brown Buffalo Conceal. There's two questions that I'm gonna answer in this video. One, is this my new favorite everyday carry pack? And two, is it worth the price? So the Conceal Pack has been out for a while. There's been different variations, different sizes, different materials. This one right here is the 21 liter version, which is I think kind of like the perfect size for everyday carry. And there is some discrepancy about, you know, liter size in these packs because 21 liters for Brown Buffalo may not be the same 21 liters that will be in like the Go Rug GR1, for instance, this is the Heritage Edition, the newest one that came out. And you can kind of see these packs are almost exactly the same size, man. Like, really, really close. So, both of these are really top of the line. If you wanted to say flagship, these are some of the flagship packs out there right now. So, this pack right here is made out of a X50 X pack material, and it's got this Cordura laminate on the outside. It gives it this is its tropical multi cam right here, and that's what it gives it its look. This pack is made excellently. <laughs> It's probably one of the best sewn packs that I've seen out there yet. You know, when I'm comparing it against like, this is an American made pack. The only kind of packs that kind of come to mind for me is Kafaru's packs and you know, the Goruck packs, far as the quality is stitching. And I and, and I think that this one is superior to those. And, and we'll, I'm gonna show you why, and I don't say that lightheartedly. Let's get the specs out of the way, and then we'll take you to some of the cooler or most functional sections in the pack. This pack is actually, a, it's a light pack. It's only 2.6 pounds. So really good weight slash size. So 21 liters, 2.6 pounds, that's a really good weight. Now the dimensions on the pack are 19 inches tall. It's 11.5 inches wide, and it can expand out to a depth of five inches. I think that this pack is a good size pack for even like, you know, people that are 6'2", six, 6'3", six, all the way down to people that are like five foot, five foot five or whatever, because other than size, it's, it's a great medium range size. The materials on this pack, I love this X, <laughs> this X pack material with the Cordura, you know, laminate over top of it. This is, it's just a really beautiful pack. Like just really subtly those X's come through through the X pack and, and this multi cam. So it's just a really well made pack. Look, take, check the look at the side. You can kind of see that X pack, um, X pattern a little bit better. And I'm not a, like a huge, huge fan of X pack. Like I see all of these X pack bags. I, it's like, do it in a in a different way. You know, just like a, a straight up black X pack bag just doesn't really get it for me, you know? So I, I definitely like the use of colors here and like, you know, it's a, it's a more military style, but you know, it's an urban style. Like the, the camouflage style is a more urban style. So I said I was gonna take you to some of the cooler or the most functional sections in the pack. I think we gotta start off with the main section. I think that that's probably one of the most uh, useful parts of this pack right here. So you got large number 10 YKK zips. These are the USA made YKK zips, which makes them super damn smooth. Number 10, like I said, they just, they work so well, just all the way around the zipper line. It's been designed really well. The zipper line has been designed really well. Like, check that out. It's crazy smooth. So when you unzip, this is a clamshell, a full clamshell opening pack, and you get inside, and you get this high-vis, like bright high-vis interior lining on this pack, and I love it because I get to see everything inside of my pack. So let's go ahead and go to the lid side first because that's kind of like where they built in some more organization over here. There's some, there's some very subtle little, <laughs> Just subtle details that make this pack really excellent. First of all, I mean, the tags and the pockets and all of that, that's awesome, that's great. 
but what I want to just talk about is just the, the way how straight this stitching is on this pocket right here at the top this is and it continues throughout the interior of the bag just straight stitching it's like a, a, a contrasting color like this is a dark orange but the stitching is a lighter orange it just mm, it just looks so good then you have the little practice empathy tag in here USA made and then you got YKK zip in here they use like a one of those thinner but it's a tough mesh in side it's it so that will catch all your smaller items and it's at the top of the bag so when you open the bag just a little bit you can get into this pocket really useful well thought out so then you have these two pockets this is something that i really don't see too much inside of bags and i think it's a really good idea so it's space enough to take like a 32 ounce nalgene bottle easily you can also put like organizational pockets i think the brown buffalo actually sells some organizations some dive kit pouches that you can stick in there and then like these little black hypalon pools say the brown buffalo on them just subtle branding th throughout the bag just done really professionally i like that a lot the x pack in the inside is great and this this pocket holds this water bottle in pretty well even when i kind of lay the the bag down it's not just fall in sliding out i mean there's nothing like there's no retention here like there's no elastic here but the way that the pocket is designed it you know it's holding that water bottle in pretty well so it slides a little bit but it's not that bad at all so let's go ahead to the uh, main section of the back so inside you guys can see i have my edc like my regular edc stuff set up in here so i have my sony xm3s those are great noise canceling headphones loistrom notebook in there and now the setup in the back of the back panel kind of reminds me a little bit of the bag I just reviewed a couple of weeks ago is the um, is the Arteric uh, Assault Pack where the back panel is just set up so that you can kind of configure this thing yourself however you want it to configure it. So for me, I put my nine millimeter representation up here at the top of the bag so I can be holding my concealed carry. I got the George Define patch right here, morale patches. If you want to check those out, I'll leave a link in the description on how to get them. They're 15 bucks. And then down here, I put in two Savada pouches. Now, one thing about Brown Buffaloes, they have a lot of uh, external organizational panels that they actually can made so that you can pick up and they're on their website and they're all excellently excellently made so it's just like the bag it's just it's on another this is a this is a rare really rare quality bag that's that's what i'm trying to impart to you the silvada pouches you can rip them off you can rip all of this stuff off and then just have a blank you know there's a loop back field right here so you could just put whatever organization that you want in this in this panel back here. Because of the way the main section is set up, it's got these really nice high sides. So you could actually travel. I could see a person traveling with this bag really easily. You have a lot of capacity space in, inside this bag. This 21 liters, feels bigger it feels bigger than a lot of the bags that i've actually reviewed so the next thing i want to talk about is this admin section right here in the front you got another ykk it's kind of you know hidden this zipper line is kind of hidden by this flap which is a great thing and then you kind of turn it to the side so it's designed so that you have it on your body and you be able to access it like this so that's that's a pretty slick thing so inside you got a loop line field inside of here so that means that you can attach whatever you want different admin panels that are out there you can stick them inside if different different organizers maybe you want to put your concealed carry right in the front you can do that as well inside there's just a, a key ring inside it's got a heavy metal clip in there with the orange you know lash right here and it's a little short for me i wish this was a little bit longer so you could actually access a lock with your keys but it's really this clip is really good it's a heavy duty clip so it's easy to kind of take your keys off and then reattach them but really inside that's like make it your, your own so one of the things that i picked up is this mod mod 03 right here this fits inside of the panel really easily like right there so inside that loop panel so this is hook backed and then it's got two organiz organizer pockets right here and in there i just put like my quick things that i need to grab for my everyday carry so i have my lumatop edc tool flashlight in there and then i also have the benchmade bug out which is a great lightweight knife for its size probably one of the better 
everyday carry knives that's out there. I mean, there's a debate, but this is an excellent damn knife. So, and the other one, I think I just got some Tic Tacs, but this organizer panel is designed, and, you know, is designed and made so well. The construction on this is just like the backpack. The stitching on it is excellent. The, the you know, the, the hook back right here is just, you can see the stitching lines, nice little subtle orange, uh, flash right there just to kind of have it stand out it's got the subdued brown buffalo branding on it this these organizer panels they're expensive but they are they are very well made now the third item that is really functional on this bag is this back panel it's a really excellent back panel the shoulder straps themselves are ergonomically cut they feel really good on your on your shoulders on your back so they're just a really simple design. There's no low lifters here. You do have a sternum strap for the 21 liter pack. I probably would take it off, but I like the way that they did it. You know, it's removable. They do have the assault, assault style shoulder straps there. So they have the quick ditch fun function, which, you know, I never use, but <laughs> it's there for you if you need it. You got some little D rings down here. Decide maybe you want to attach something to your bag, you can. The back piano and the back of the shoulder straps, the mesh that they use is really rugged and heavy duty. So that's a pretty good thing. Now the curvature on this back panel is really not there. There's really no curvature for, for, the, for the back panel. So that's one thing that you will have to deal with. You do have like a luggage pass through right here. This is shown really well with this nice little accent orange stitching throughout there. And then you get to this back panel and then you have your laptop compartment back here. So this will take a 15 inch laptop. Now a 17 inch laptop, I tried it, it does not fit. So inside I put a 14 inch, uh, this is a Microsoft Surface right here. So you know, it's a thinner, this is a really thin laptop. This fits in here with no problem though. And one thing about the laptop compartment back here is it's not suspended off the bottom. So you need to be careful about carrying this bag. If you drop it down, you may be buying yourself a new laptop. Inside the, this panel right here, it is a uh, loop line. So you can attach different attachments back here if you wanted to as well. So if you wanna make this your concealed carry, pouch you could but yeah excellent uh laptop compartment you do have to kind of work with the shoulder straps to get your laptop in kind of reminds me of a go rug gr1 or a go rug pack where you have to flip the shoulder straps back to get the full access to the zipper line here to get to your laptop but that's one of the things and one of the adjustments that you have to make. Now let's go on around the outside of this bag. One thing that I wanna talk about is lashing points on the side. So you have a place there, you probably could hook in a carabiner or any attachments there. These are like hypo, this is like a hypolon material. It actually feels really good. The stitching on the outside of the bag is still excellent. The grab handle, it's nothing, it's nothing like, like super padded or anything like that, but it's done really well. The stitching in there is done, it's reinforced, there's box stitching, there's a bar stitch in there. They just did it really, really well. I mean, I can't complain about this. The, the grab, the way that the, the, the handle stands up away from the bag is good, so you can actually get a good grab on it. I got no complaints about that. I got no complaints about this bag. On the front, you do have like the subtle brown buffalo branding right there on a Hypalon tags. It's like, you know, embossed in there and sewn really well. This pack is excellent. <laughs> through and through, from the top down to the bottom, I have limited complaints about this pack. So is this my new every, my favorite everyday carry bag? I would say, I'm still confused. I'm still I'm still making my decision. No, actually, it's a really close tie between Go Ruck and and this uh, Conceal Pack. I think the Conceal Pack gives you more organizational options. Now the question is, should you pay? We got to talk about the price. Should you pay? This pack right now is three ninety five. I think this special version was like four twenty five. Should you pay? Four twenty five for a bag. I really think that that's on you. Like, I, I is it worth it? Um, I don't know if any backpack is worth four hundred and twenty five dollars. It's about what you want. Do you want to spend that? If for for me as like a backpack nerd, yeah, this is like 
this is like excellent for me. You know, I'll pay the four, I'll save and pay the four hundred dollars for somebody that's just looking for an everyday carry pack that's going to be able to. There's there's a lot of packs out there that can do the same thing as this pack. Will it have the quality? No, the the quality on this pack is next level. So. If you ask me, is it worth it? To me, yes, it's worth it. To you, you gotta make up your own mind about that. <laughs> you know, I, I know that's like the that the way that you shouldn't leave the video, but that's the way I gotta leave the video, guys. You gotta make that decision for yourself. Guys, if you like this video, man, hit the thumbs up button. If you love this content, subscribe to the channel. If you got a question about everyday carry backpacks, Nice flashlights, all of that kind of stuff. Leave it down there and I'll try to get back to you. And I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.